and also running through a parts list of kind of the most basic things that you need to do a 20 valve conversion in a Mark II. As far, you know, as far as the engine mounts are concerned, oh yes, and the brake servo is concerned. So dealing with all those kind of issues. So welcome back to the channel, to the rest of the designs. So this is our next project, Mark II Golf 20 valve. So this car, this car is off a friend of mine, Steve at Mad VW in South End. And this was on his trailer to go to the scrapyard. This was on its way to go to get crushed. And I fell in love with it. The reg, six digit plate, it's a G reg, which indicates that it's a um, latest car, 89. So it's a big bumper car. And the color, silver gray. Back in the day when I was a lot younger, I wanted a silver gray Mark II, but these were really hard to find and quite expensive for my budget at the time as well. So to come across one on the back of a lorry to go and get crushed, at closer inspection, it didn't look as bad. It didn't warrant getting scrapped. So I thought, what the hell, I'm gonna save it. And that's what I've done. So uh, I bought it off Steve at a good price. He also supplied loads of spares with it as part of the package, delivered it, done, it's here. It's been sitting here for a while, we've finished a few other projects, now we're gonna press on with this. The plan with this, it needs rear arches. So, that's gonna be the first thing, is repairing, repairing these arches. The seals are not too bad, uh, the jacking point isn't too bad. The front chassis leg where the battery tray was, was really, really bad. Uh, but luckily, we um, we got our spares from Portugal, dry climate, actually cut the chassis leg and we took off what we needed to put on the chassis leg. So it's a rust free panel on there, perfect, no issues. These wings as well came from Portugal at the same time, rust free wings because the other ones were quite bad. Um, so there was no point repairing them or sourcing them, we had a really dry climate good ones the same with this tailgate this tailgate as you can see is from portugal if you don't know it's not from holland and um, tailgate had a zender spoiler in it which had kind of holes drilled into it as well it was rusty around where the, the number plate lights go which is quite common and on the inside they tend to rust as well and on this one as you can see being a dry climate it's absolutely mint there's no no rust at all on this on this tailgate which is pretty impressive really um, as you can see it came with loads and loads of spares some of it's mine some of it came with the car we have all the bits to put it together it's just checking the quality like the rear bumper the front bumper um, some of the side skirts yeah. so onto the project of this 20 valve so ground up as we always do suspension rear beam rusty We're gonna clean that down power flex those bushes and just keep the standard get a set of mark three calipers that don't seize which we have and we've got five 100 with just standard size discs and pads on it. We're also gonna put fresh brake lines. We'll delete the brake bias valve because like our other project, the Mark II TDI that we've done, we're gonna mount ABS on this. We're gonna use the same system, the Mark III ABS off the VR and off the 16 valve, which have anti-slip. This setup with this rear mount, you can get um, fiber tech mounts and so forth or even the latest spec 16 valve 1990 mounts, they're okay. But the wishbone, is, I mean, the subframe is still inherently not the greatest, basically because of the wishbones and those bushes on the rear. And just the mount and just the Mark III subframe, you know, it's an improvement, the mount wise, you know, for resonation going into the car. And just for an old car, it just feels nice when it's a little bit quieter. It's got so much character, just taking a bit of, resonance out of it, it makes it even more enjoyable and pleasurable to drive. So we're gonna remove the subframe, go wide track, GTI Plus, wishbones, um, anti-roll bar, hubs to improve, torque steer, and power flex all those up. Uh, we're gonna go 312s. So you're gonna have, you know, with the ABS and the 312s in this weight car, it's gonna be more than adequate to stop this, especially with a good size tire. Um, the front cross member, front mount, probably going to be a solid mount, 
just for costs or I think I may have laying around somewhere uh, a Vibertech front engine mount which it's off an old project someone whatever scrapped a car or something but I, I have that so potentially we're going to go with that the bay as you can see has been painted already so we're ready to kind of push on with this this was done up by um, Heart and Soul um, who does quite a, most of our work for us here in the UK um, so we're going to run the light loom do this subframe also the power steering this is a Mark II power steering with the shorter arms but we actually have a Mark III power steering rack pipes and um, and pump and uses the green stuff so we're going to ditch this which is probably as old as the car is and just fit something that's just more reliable and just and just fresh um, into it there so that's the kind of the base we build it from 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 the base up also to go with the engine conversion we've got a mark 3 tank here with the straps this is a 16 valve one we'll put a wall bro in it because even still 16 valve it's the pump still not good enough for the power figures we're going to be reaching so we've got a wall bro to drop in there with the straps put that on and change all the fuel lines so we'll ditch the mark 2 setup with the two pumps on this GTI uh, and delete all of that. Uh, the engine now, the engine is a 20 valve turbo, it's off a Mark IV, engine code AUM, so it's the 150, small port. Uh, it has a set of rods in it, integrated engineering, set of rods to cope with what's been done. The mileage on it is 90,000, so it's really low mileage for the year, it's 2001, it has very little usage on it. It has a turbo manifold made by us, which on top of it sits a GT28 RS, the super disco potato they call it. They're good for about 350 dos turbos. This particular engine is running 322 with low torque because it's got a more progressive kind of torque curve on it. The gearbox is really quite a nice gearbox that's going to be going in this. It's a six speed, but it's a smaller O2S six speed. So it's an O2S uh, six speed box with a hybrid with an O2J. So it's got the O2J bell housing for the speedo and the speedo drive with a, a, a nice gear set that we've put in there so all the other gears are, are short and close and then sixth is just slightly taller than the original fifth would have been so it gives you a nice bit of cruising as well as acceleration so it's all round package as well as that gearbox also has a quaif diff perfect for this car um so yeah we've been making up down pipes three inch down pipe two and a half inch system a forge intercooler probably the engine will be running the standard management so we will be showing you how to convert the loom mount the clutch master cylinder on the inside for the hydraulic clutch on the gearbox we'll run through that as well uh, the accelerator pedal again we'll run through that again uh, how to mount it the best angle and stuff uh, you are quite limited unfortunately with the angle that, that sits but it's pretty simple to do uh, intercooler be forge downpipe, three inch downpipe custom made with a two and a half inch system, maybe one box, two boxes. Um, the wheels we don't know yet, but they have to be 16s minimum because of the 312 brakes we're gonna run and, um, and crack on. So it's part one, so keep an eye on this. We will uh, be updating this over time and doing some how to's on it as well, as well as updating the projects there will be kind of side how-to's on the wiring loom and also running through a parts list of kind of the most basic things that you need to do a 20 valve conversion in a mark ii as far you know as far as the engine mounts are concerned oh yes and the brake servo is concerned so dealing with all those kind of issues